Hello and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today my drawing was inspired by Paul David Tripp's book, New Morning Mercies, and it is June 28th. And these are a few of the weeds that grow around my yard. And whether you have a garden or not, I'm sure you're familiar with all of these because they are prolific and will grow almost anywhere, even in a crack in your driveway or in a cement wall or any place where a tiny little seed can find a place to capture some moisture and the roots can hold when it, they start to grow and they just thrive anywhere. They're really sort of amazing survival plants. And most of these guys have only become like a nuisance to people in just recent history when we decided we wanted to have pretty green lawns. And these guys um, thought, well, it's dirt. I can grow there too. So now there's all out war with herbicides to kill off these plants that were once used for medicines and for food and for animals to graze on. And many of us are caught in a difficult position that we do like the green lawns and we like the aesthetic that it adds to our neighborhoods and it creates play areas and areas that are easier to use and to move around in but also it's a lovely vista but it simply isn't natural and it takes a lot of time and effort to create a nice lawn and that one person in your neighborhood that is a little more relaxed is um, not appreciated by anybody else because their dandelion seeds are blowing into everyone else's lawn and the cycle just continues on and on. And people go to a great deal of trouble and expense to keep their lawns beautiful and a quick and easy way to do it is with a an herbicide. And that just can't go on forever, us using herbicides, because it's building up more and more into our water systems and we can just see the effect it's having on our insect population. And um, it really is only a temporary solution of keeping our lawns nice. Every year you got to do it over and over and over again. So I listened to a gentleman give a talk about a natural way to reduce weeds in your lawn. And he had done numerous test trials right in the town where I lived and you could see the difference. And it was seemed very effective. So what he suggested was that first you get your soil healthy and you do that by aerating your lawn and top dressing it with compost. And a third way is don't bag your grass. Just mulch it and leave it right where it is. It will compost and it will also help retain the moisture in the soil. And once you've done that, reseed. Actually reseed every year wherever you can see any little bit of dirt between the blades of grass because that void is an opportunity for a weed to take hold and grow. So I haven't been able to aerate my grass, but I've done everything else he's suggested. And wherever I have uh, reseeded and top dressed and done all those things, it has made a big difference. And you can see where the grass is growing uh, more densely, there definitely are fewer weeds. So his idea of um, leaving no open spaces seems to be 
a good solution. Today, in his devotions, Paul Tripp talks about fear. And he says, if God is in control of every aspect of your world and his grace covers all your sin, why would you ever give way to fear? And then later on, he says, when you forget God's sovereignty and his grace, you give room in your heart for fear to do its nasty, debilitating work. And that made me think, well, fear seems to be a lot like these weeds. If it finds an empty spot or a void, that seed will plant itself and take root and will grow. So I will probably never be 100% weed-free or fear-free but I can definitely reduce the chances of being overrun by filling the voids in my lawn with grass seed and by filling the void in my heart with the seeds of faith that I received through the many examples of God's love, his forgiveness, his presence, his protection, his generosity, his provision, his goodness, his kindness, his patience, his sovereignty over every aspect of my world. So thank you for joining me at Mimi's Sketchbook. I hope this was an encouragement to you, and God bless.